I encourage you to practice, uh, even as a student, you don't have to be a teacher, uh, you can always delete, but at least get an idea. And we're talking about tables. You know, it's just as you wouldn't be able to swim unless you got in the water. Same thing here. In order to remember and sustain, you need to go into uh, practice, practice and practice. So let's take a look at uh, the table. There's the icon. I'm going to access that. Okay, and I'll decide on three, three, three columns, three rows. I want to make sure and notice here that the border is not zero, and later on to make sure that it's not white. Okay, otherwise we won't be able to see it unless the background is a different color. So let's change that to border. Uh, let's make it two, all right, and then insert. Okay, what I see here is an outer border. I'm not interested in the outer, but I'm going to move it. I mean, okay, there, and then I, it's a little bit larger. Next, I'm going to go into this area here to enlarge the whole things. Then I'll come back in the same way. So, okay, here it's a bit larger. Now, notice what I have here. Okay, I've got a border, an external border, but I want the cell border too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into one cell. Okay, I'm going to highlight... Okay, the whole thing. All right, so let's do that. Okay, we'll go into a cell. We'll highlight the cell. Okay, there, one cell. Now we're going to click on the right of the mouse. And when we do that, notice what we get. We get all this information. That's always true. The right of the mouse. So we've got cell, cell table properties, row, Okay, and merge, of course. But what we want to do here, we want the cell properties. Okay, so we'll click on cell properties, and here is a pop-up. Now, notice what you have here again. Okay, we're going to go into advanced. Okay, so we can get the color in. Okay, so advanced, notice, and now we want color, the border color of the cells. So if you're not sure where you are, notice you're here, table cell properties. Background, okay, so there has to be contrast, it can't be both white. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything, even if it's there, it won't show. Okay, so uh, let's make the background black for now. Okay, we click on it, and then you get all these colors. Okay, we want black. OK, and apply. Now we're going to click on the update. OK, don't forget to do that. OK, but it takes practice if you don't. You'll try again. OK, so now we should be able to see the whole thing. But if you're not sure, let's go back and minimize the whole thing so we can update it. So there we go into that. And it minimizes the whole thing. OK, there it is. OK, you can see it. All right, now let's see if we really see it. It's there, but can we see it? So I'm going to save changes. Click on continue so I can see what's there. Okay, um, go back into... Okay, my... Um, here it is. Okay. All right, and this is what I see. Notice I only dealt with one cell. Okay, so that's what it would look like. I don't want that. Okay, I want to do the whole thing. I want to be able to see all the cells. So again, I go into Maximize. Okay, notice I'm editing, so uh, I can get rid of that. Okay, so uh, Let's make it larger so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then I can minimize it. Okay, so what I'm interested in is not just one cell. I'm interested in the whole thing. Okay, so I'll highlight everything. Click on the right of the mouse. Go into the cell properties. And in this case, I'm going to go into advanced. Same thing. Now notice here, I'm going to go into border color. Make it black. Apply. And then I have the contrast. Update. Now I've got the whole thing. And this may be a bit large, so let me... Make it smaller, go into the uh, this part, make it smaller here. You can see it now. Now I'm going to save and let's see the difference. Okay, continue so I can see it. All right, go back here. Okay, 
to make sure that it's all there. And there you can see it now. And that's it. That's how it's done. I'll add the YouTube video so you can see the whole thing. Thank you for your attention.